はいレポースウォッツアップ、ガイズ、シェルシー92 here、and I'm back with Flashback Friday! It's been about four months since the last episode. Apologize for that. But from now on, every Friday, crash team racing until we get 100% or right about. Anyway, last time we were here, I did Crash Cove and Moose Tubes, so we are just going to drive our way around the seemingly quite big map. On to one of my least favorite tracks on there. Mystery case. So, yeah, how's, how's everyone been going? How's it doing? Four months out, but we're back now. We're back every Friday. Try and make this a nice long episode for you lot to try and make up for it. And I've totally missed that. There we go. Right. Um, Crash Golf is one of the simplest maps on it. I just find it a bit dull, really. Nice big turn here. Apparently, I've lost the ability to drive. That's a very good start. Some fireballs that you have to dodge or burn to death. Yeah, I suggest you avoid us if possible. Yeah. Shut down the nitro. Oh. One out of three done. Okay. That. <laughs> My controller just went crazy for a second. Everything's back now. I have control again. Again, you may hear, still have that cold this week. Hopefully, it goes by next Friday. Okay. And the controller did it again. I can't even jump now. There we go. <laughs> Great start! Great start to the corner. It's brilliant. My word, my, my, can, can we get control? Okay, we have control again. <laughs> oh god, what's going on? We're almost, we're almost done. Can just, just stay in control for, nope, nope, can't do it, can't, can't do it. My god, jeez. <sighs> I have no idea what happened during that race. Uh, my controller? I don't know. <laughs> PS3 controller, can you just behave for about 20 minutes? Uh, that'd be great. That'd be really great. I'd appreciate it. Right, first place! And now some helpful advice from Akiraku. You win a trophy. Yep. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. Very useful as a there from my Goku. Basically, as soon as you have a jump, just make sure you jump right on the edge. 
in order to get maximum hang time and the more you're in the air for the longer your boost will be when you land which is very useful in fact you'll see it a lot in this race because there's a lot of little hubs including the right at the start on to see a speedway one of my favorites but it's really hard to do the shortcut on this well i find it difficult i'm sure some speed runners can do it pretty easily but no i find it difficult so the shortcut is right up there on the right. I would... Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Turn around. Turn around to failure. Nope. Whoa. And controller's going out again. Controller's going out again. I can't even jump. I can't jump. Oh, you jump now! <laughs> oh, this is going disastrous. Still can't jump. Can I? Can you? Game, you're gonna allow me to jump? Right after Akaku was like, yeah, yep, yeah, you must jump before, before the big jumps. I can't jump now. There we go. Haven't got control back. Please, no, haven't got control back. Oh, this is just brilliant. <laughs> Back in control now. Okay, I'll be come back in control. I'm not even gonna go for the shortcut this time. I guess this is a nice way to make races interesting by handicapping me a bad controller. Back in control. For how long? That is the question. And jump. And a nice little boost up here. So like that. Oh, it's happening again. It's happened again. Oh my days, I fell off. Screw it, long way. What just happened? What just happened? I can't. Oh my days. <laughs> this is going to be much closer than intended. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Nope! Oh, <laughs> you can't be kidding. As soon as I use it, as soon as I use it, that is when you decide to not work. <laughs> Wonderful. Just wonderful. I've got it. Hold my days. I've got it. Oh, wow. Right then. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with this controller. Uh, but I certainly have a title for this episode. <laughs> Right. Huh. Crash out of very well. Should have been a routine victory into quite a difficult one. And I can't afford for the controller to mess up in this next race. Because up next is... Yeah. Going into this. Yeah. Wish me luck. Right. And the thing about bosses in this game is when you race them, it's just you against the boss. And for bosses, they have these special abilities. Ripperu has the ability to fold, well, not fold, but place about 100 TNTs onto the track. So it's really important that you stay in front of him at all times, otherwise you'll get caught. Like that. But thankfully I just squashed him, so that's me in the lead now. Now, the thing about this game is... The computer has sort of three lines that it follows. It has 
the left line, the middle line, and the right line. And that's basically how they race. So, um, if you have about eight people, if you have the normal eight people in a race and you control one of them, a few of them will be on the left side, a few of them will be in the middle, and a few of them will be on the right. And whenever one of them comes behind each other, then they switch lanes. With and with most boss with most bosses, they all go down the middle. With a rule though, to kind of sell the whole craziness gimmick, drives on all three lanes at once. He switches about every five seconds. So it's really hard to predict where he's going to be. Which kind of makes this first boss race actually very tricky to do. But he tends to hang out around the middle a lot. Like he wouldn't go from the left side to the right side immediately. You go left, middle, right, right, middle, left. But I think I've got it. Basically. Got it. Whew. And my controller only went mad about once. Positives. <coughs> so yeah, you see right now what I mean. So the computer is taken over now and Crash is driving on the left side. It will drive on the left side whenever you have a race in a boss mode. In the next race, which I'll do very quickly, when he finishes you'll see he'll drive on the right side. It's That's how the computer does it. In Crash Natural Cut though, I don't, that doesn't seem to be a thing. I guess it's just the way they programmed the game. So we have a key. <laughs> How we got the driver's license, I have no idea. But we have a key to the next world, which... Oh wait, Aku Aku. Shh, shh, it's Aku Aku. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here yeah. you'll find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Alright, thanks Akuraku. So, on to the next world, which is actually quite a different world. This is basically for boss world. If that makes sense. So it's not world 2, but it's the boss world. Those two tracks that you saw there, you unlock near the end of the game. In those gates, you'll have these sort of gem tournaments. Where if you pay, if you pay close attention to the races, to when I go into the portals, they'll be coloured, and there so there'll be four red tracks, four yellow tracks, four blue tracks, four green tracks, and it's those that determine basically the cups. So you'll have a yellow gem cup, red gem cup. You'll find out more later. This is the actual boss of the whole thing. Nitrous oxide. He's Clearly an octopus. Clearly, not clearly. Try to enslave the planet, blah 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 blah. You'll find more about him in a few weeks. Anyway, on to world two. The Lost Ruins. Big up here, we'll need that in a minute. But first, my, world, my most hated track in the whole game. And as you can see, it's green, so this will be one of the green cups. Coco Park. It's so bland and f stereotypically feminine. It's just horrible. It's horrible. But it's Coco Track. Here we go. Hopefully, no more bugs. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. And as soon as I said that, bugs. So, screw the grass. I'm just going to drive on that. Completely forget the box. That may come back to haunt me in about 10 seconds. Still, there's nobody hits me. No one hits me. Right. We're safe. Ow. 
and a rocket narrowly avoids me. Thank goodness. But this one won't. Yeah. Yeah, bye, Coco. There we go. Yeah, see, that? That's, that's basically the blue shield. The blue shield. The blue shell of this game. In reference to Mario. Mario Kart games. Final lap, thank goodness. <laughs> Once again, recording kind of went a bit weird at this point. So please enjoy this complimentary Crash Bandicoot rapper, whatever it is. Yeah. It's hilarious, right? Anyway, back to the schedule programming. Oh, God. And we are almost done. We're almost done. Almost done. See you now, and you can now see Crash is now driving on the right side of the track. <sighs> see how that's broken? See how that's <coughs> See, because of the whole line thing, it's actually quite easy to know. Well, I say it's quite easy to know where to place item so the computer's hitting them but they don't really show that that well in this race yeah anyways done <coughs> jolly good Congratulations, you win a trophy. All right, so, oh, sorry, sorry, I crack it, people. Shh, shh, shh. You can go faster through turns by power sliding. To access the power slide, press and hold the R1 button while turning hard. Nice power slam. Alright. Gotta end it there. Had four races, that's very generous of me. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, four races done. Um, next episode, I will probably get up to Papu Papu, who is that guy right there on the right. Yeah. He, he he kinda looks a bit weird. Just just a little bit. Yeah. I'll end it there. So next Friday, we'll be up to him. Hopefully get it to world free. So yeah, just be happy this series is now back. And I will see you next Friday. Peace. <laughs> Do 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 do